Hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing fine. I totally understand due to the pandemic, things have got little stressed out. As this is the first event of the year, I am here to talk about the science fact, which probably most of you all must have learned in school. I would like to conduct an experiment. In that, you have to measure your ear with the tip of your fingers vertically. Then measure your nose start from the starting point to the bridge again vertically and now measure your eye take the one of the eye horizontally so what did you all get to know that our eye ear and nose is of same size doesn't that sound interesting so come on let's discuss few more interesting facts whenever you come across the word paris what comes into your mind eiffel tower yes exactly it's such a divine masterpiece its architecture is so beautifully done and it is one of the most romantic places to visit with your loved ones right did you all know that eiffel tower grows yes you heard me right it grows up to 15 cm taller in summer so the reason behind is that we had studied in school that whenever a metal is been exposed to massive heat it tends to expand so exactly same thing happens over here whenever the heat is at its peak the eiffel tower grows 15 cm taller than its usual height whenever we want to purchase a brand new phone what are the features we opt for i'm sure one of them must be the camera how many megapixel it is Did you all know in camera terms human eye is about 576 megapixels According to the scientist and photographer Dr Roger Clark the resolution of the human eye is 576 megapixel which makes it 72 times more precise than the rare camera of iPhone 13 Pro Wow now that sounds crazy and it says that your eyes can see the difference between 10 million colors one question came up my mind when we have such a good feature in a human body why do we need a smartphone screen with 16 inches did you all know that fingerprint is not the only thing which can be differentiate between two individuals yes you heard it right as well as having a unique fingerprint human also have unique tongue print Tongue print is a new biometric authentication tool that is unique and cannot be easily forged because no two tongue prints are similar. The present study aims to evaluate the common morphological features of the tongue and its variations in males and females. Have you ever heard about an iron that does not rust? You all must be thinking that I'm crazy. But have you ever wondered that all these iron monuments present across the country are been there for over 600 to 6000 years until now? One of the most tourist attraction is Ashoka Pillar which is been situated in Allahabad Delhi and it has been bearing harsh climates like heavy rainfall, cold winters, humidity and scorching heat and yet it manages to look so stunning as before without even being corroded. What's the reason why it does not get corroded in spite of being iron what's the reason many scientists have found out that a very thin dark gray protective layer of crystalline iron hydrogen phosphate has been formed on the surface of the pillar which is the reason for its resistance to corrosion the human stomach can dissolve a razor have you ever swallowed a razor blade when you were a kid don't panic or intend to do it the scientist has already conducted this experiment in an artificial environment did you all know our body is capable of doing so many things on the ph scale the stomach acid ranges from 1 to 2 meaning that it has an incredibly strong ph in recent study published in the journal of gastrointestinal endoscopy scientists have found out that the thick back of a single edged blade dissolves after 2 hours of immersion into an stomach acid 
this not only protects the immune system and kills various bacteria and viruses but it also generates a special enzyme which helps to grind the food and digest it fun cute little fact if we ever blush the inside of this organ turns red too oh that's so cute my stomach blushes too with me what comes to your mind when you hear the word dimples i wish even i had dimples so i could look much more prettier so here's the truth about the dimples it may be hard to believe but dimples are actually a birth defect according to dr molikin a celebrity plastic surgeon and associated clinical professor for surgery at ucla shared with an magazine that the cheek dimples are genetically transmitted abnormality of a muscle in the cheek so basically what happens is the muscle divides into two section and attaches to the cheek this fibrous connection causes a dimple to become deeper and more visible when the person smiles flexing that muscle despite being genetic thing you might not automatically inherit your mama's adorable dimple according to the study dimples are considered quote as high heritable but they are not guaranteed so now what do you think about dimples is it a beauty or a defect can you burp in space yes or no let's find out actually it is impossible to burp in space when you burp on earth the gravity keeps down the solid and liquids from the food you just ate so basically only the gas escapes from your mouth but in the absence of gravity the gas cannot separate from the solids and liquids so burping essentially turns into puking which floats in together like a big chunky bubble eo now that's gross no matter what one shouldn't burp in space how do bats survive viruses despite being carriers yes that includes corona virus too bats are able to carry viruses without being ill except for rabies which affects them researchers suggest that bats make up a quarter of all mammal species and they have developed a stronger immune system through a process of evolution when bats fly the energy requirement in their bodies causes cells to break down into bits of dna which are then released while most of the organisms would treat such a dna particle as a foreign invading bodies but in bat such response are more muted therefore due to the weakened response bats do not develop inflammation hence this phenomena is believed that so many viruses can exist in their bodies have you ever wondered why is red color used in traffic signal the major reason for red color to be used in traffic signal is its wavelength now among the color of visible light red has the longest wavelength longer the wavelength lesser will be the scattering of light hence it is least scattered by the atmospheric particle or climate like fog smoke rain or even dust due to which red light passes comparatively easily through them and it can also be seen from a maximum distance did you all know when the moon is directly overhead you will weigh slightly less this is nothing to do with the weight but the force of gravity acting on the object the gravitational force of the moon acting directly above the object reduces the gravitational force of the earth a little due to which one weighs slightly less than his usual weight